Guitar enthusiasts, it is 2021, and that means Ibanez has new guitars. That means the guitars from last year, you probably can't buy anymore because Ibanez, uh, you know, they rotate quite a bit so that you keep your interest in the brand and spend the money on a new color or new features, as we shall find out. Because I am doing 12 videos for the new Ibanez 2021 line. And that's actually not all the guitars. There's a bunch more. But I'm looking at uh, 12, actually 13 different ones in a massive Ibanez series. Starting with this one, which is, of course, called the... Leslie, what is it called? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Y you can clearly see that's an RG. So it's the Ibanez RG and then... I, I don't care. See, I know it by heart. RG652 AHM FX RPP. People, I'm not making this shit up. It's the 652 Y AHM FX. Apparently, that stuff means something. And then RPB, which stands for Royal Plum Burst. The last thing is always the color. I get that. The rest, I don't know. So I have a cheat sheet here, which I'm going to have to translate because it's in German. So this is from the Prestige line, uh, which means better, which means made in Japan, which means it comes in a beautiful hard shell case, which I'm going to show you right here from the unboxing video I did on the whole uh, shipment. Uh, case, beautiful. Uh, whole presentation, great. Comes with a little, you know, install, not instally, uh, what, what do they call it? Um, 
multi-tool, the multi-tool, Lilo Dallas multi-tool. For me, this is the archetypical Ibanez RG, minus one thing, which is the Floyd. So there's no trem on there, which for me is perfect because when I have something with a Floyd, um, I have to, or a floating trem, Ibanez Edge, Low Pro Edge, whatever Pro, um, those guitars are difficult for me to get into videos because they're more difficult to change strings on, they are difficult to tune, they're difficult to keep in tune. So if I make a video and I grab it off the wall, I'm gonna spend some time getting the guitar ready and I don't want that. Everything else from an RG I would want. The playability, yes. The look, yes. The uh, sleekiness, yes. The sounds, yes. The flexibility and switchiness, yes. But not the pain in the assiness of the Floyd. So this for me is the perfect RG. Prestige line, matching headstock, which I dig. It's freaking purple, which I love. Uh, bright, what's it called? That thing where you play, fretboard. Uh, it has, get this, locking tuners. So I played this and I was like, mm, I really want money for this video because Ivan is paying me for these videos, but mm, I don't, you know, I'd also really like the guitar. So yes, I'm paying for this guitar and she will be mine. And that's the one from the whole batch that I'm going to keep. However, I'm getting a deal because they're friends. I'm not paying the full price just to let you know, full disclosure, but this one will be in many of my videos. So it is called, again, the RG652HMFX-RPB, the Raw Plumbers. It's got a Super Wizard HP. I think that stands for Super Wizard High Performance Neck. And let's see if we can capture that in our camera. It's, I mean, it's a typical freaking Ibanez neck. What else do you want to know? You can obviously see black side dots in this not so nice vergilbt, as we say in German, uh, it looks, the color of the binding is kind of a weird pissy green yellow thing. I don't understand that color choice. Also on the guitar, it just, I don't know. I'm not a fan of bound fretboards anyway, or binding in general, but it's pissy greenish yellow. Then um, it's a five piece neck. I mean, these strips are so freaking tiny, I don't know if we can call them pieces, but it is a five piece neck with maple and walnut. Uh, the finish is satin polyurethane. Then there's loads of numbers, 17, 19, 648 scale length, uh, 43 millimeters up here width. Uh, we have blah, 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 we have 24 frets. And the fretboard, ah, that's why it's pretty, Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Ibanez. They're calling that bird's eye maple. And when in reality, yes, it might be bird's eye maple, but I can count one, two, three. I can count three bird's eyes in there. It's a very subtle bird's eye maple, but it is bird's eye maple, Ibanez. I give you that. It's pretty. Uh, 430 fretboard radius in millimeters. Don't know what that means. Uh, frets are jumbos. We have black dots. Uh, the body is ash, the Gibraltar standard two bridge right there, which gives it that ibanez big piece of metal Floydy kind of a sound without actually having one. That's why there's so much metal on there. That one here. Uh, now we come to the really interesting thing, which is the standard archetypical Ibanez pickup combination, which is the Air Norton and the, and the Tone Zone. It's an Air Norton and a Tone Zone. That is the combination that you have in all those RGs, which for me, again, as a reviewer, having to have, look at, look at all the, do it. Um, having to have a, an archetypical Ibanez, RG, Air Norton, Tone Zone, five way switch, it's pretty much the perfect combination. So that being said, um, wait, what is that? Uh, is that, uh, oh, GraphTech, GraphTech, black tusk nut up there. We have Goto locking tuners and they're really nice. I love that. I mean, this guitar will change strings really quickly. For me, locking tuners for the millionth time are not about tuning stability, which they will add a tiny little bit. They are about string change convenience. Flip, 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 flip
and then you make that sound for every other string. Comes with chains, hard shell case included, and off we go to sounds. One thing that bugs me a little bit for cleans is the Air Norton is very round in the neck. There's no brightness, there's no treble, there's no cle cleanliness. It's all, it sounds like this. But that's pretty awesome for leads. This is, of course, a shred monster. I'm going to play loads of solos on this. You feel like a really good guitar player when you play this guitar. Um, it's killer for that. It's not great for, like, nice, clean cleans because it's very... You can hear it has a little bit of output because that Fender Deluxe Reverb is slightly crankling. Which is what we're using into the uh, Captor X from two notes right there between the headstocks of the other guitars. And uh, that's got a Fortin UK30 cab on it. We're going to use other amps in a bit. But now that Fender, because that's a reference. Next position is uh, something. You'll, you'll hopefully see that right there, courtesy of my buddy Jason McNamara, who programmed this thing. One of those beautiful albums in between tones. Is it single coil? Heck no. But it's got something beautiful. Put some compression on there, beautiful effects, and you have amazing cleans. Now we're in the middle, which is something. I don't know. I don't know. Position four. I call it one, two, three, four, not one, two, three, four. Um, neck comes first for me, but that's just me. What do I know? And the bridge, that's the tones by itself. Those are the pickups. Uh, you put some more reverb on there. And some delay from the collider. And then we go in an in-between position. Now, those are those typical Albanus RG sounds that will cut through a mix. Uh, I, I recommend using a compressor because they are on the thin side, but they are beautiful for those cleans. And the one in the back. Beautiful. In front, as I said, it's a little bit muffly. Mm -hmm. 
So you might actually want to do jazzy things with that. works if you want to do that. On to more cranky things. Let's go to the Achilles, which is kind of JTM-ish, so very classic rocky sounds. The Achilles Argos. I just have to find where, I, where it is. <laughs> cranky. So if I boost that with my audio can boost, let's see what happens. It compresses like crazy, that's what happens. That's not happening. Unless you want fuzzy goodness. Okay, let's not do that. We're gonna go to the Rev Generator 740, the green thing in the middle, which I have on the Crunch channel. Drive sounds, be careful with the in-between positions because they're very pointy. Tones on Air Norton by themselves have some thick fullness, definitely in the neck position here, but even in the back, uh, it's it's thick and round, which again is great for the leads. And if you want a chunk. <laughs> I mean, the guitar is, what is it again? I forgot, ash. It's ash and maple bolt on. So technically there isn't tons of chunk. Where is the, how many pieces is that body? Two, from what I can tell, it's two. Yeah, it's definitely in the middle. But smack in the middle, the way it's supposed to be. Nicely done. <laughs> Obviously, it's pointy, so let's do something heavier with it. Angle Fireball. <laughs> Try to do that with the Floyd.
That's a killer combination with that amp and that guitar. Let's see in the front. It's made for soloing. We're going to move on to the Rev 100P right behind me. I'm fine with that. And we're gonna go back in the Fender. Go back in, go back in E, uh, put on a delay, put on a Rev G4, and uh, see how it leads again. Between positions, I don't, I don't know for leads. Um, less gain, yeah, more gain, no. Oh. And you see how that roundness of that pickup is beautiful when you have the high gain because it's, it's that oh, singy thing for cleans a little bit muffled. So bottom line, I mean, I like it so much, I bought it. I got a good deal, but still. If, if you are annoyed by the Floyd that rhymes, then this is your guitar. If you always want an Ibanez, but you're like, I don't want to fiddle around with the, you know, on stage and out of tune, and then the string breaks, and it takes you half an hour to replace one string and all that stuff, then this is for you. It's beautifully built, comes with a great case. The quality is there. Prestige always delivers. I'm not 100% behind Ibanez when it comes to the quality of some of the guitars. It depends on the line. Some of the lines are like, yay, and some of the lines are like, what? And it's not always related to price either. Uh, it depends on where they come from and what, what line it is, whether it's the Axiom label or the premium or the high performance or the under that or the prestige or the AZs. This... For me, flawless. Volute, locking tuner, beautifully painted ash body, um, amazing color, beautiful, beautiful playability. Is it the guitar for everything? Is it the most all-round guitar out there? I don't think it is, but it's very flexible, beautifully playable, 24 frets, all that stuff. It makes you happy if you like Abanis. Price-wise, it says $1449, that's of course MSRP. I'm thinking this is probably going to clock in at maybe $1,300, which is very fair for this instrument. Prestige quality, all that stuff. So I'm going to give it my full thumbs up, minus 
the muffledness of that neck. But okay, you just have to know how to use it and what it's for. Thanks, Arbanus, for commissioning these videos. And um, I'll put links below wherever I find them. I don't think today everything will be up because it's brand spanking new. Uh, thanks, Leslie, for switching this, even though you don't know what the guitar is called. Come on, it's the 6528HMFX. Oh, wow. Wow. I, I did it! The 6528HMFX RPB. Links below. You've been amazing. Animals at the end. <laughs>